Hello there, I'm Chad. I'm a piano player and teacher. Um, I think I got into it because of my grandfather. Uh, he was a pianist and when he died, sadly, we got the piano. So uh, my mum forced me into having piano lessons and uh, wasn't that keen at the beginning, but took to it very quickly and really enjoyed it straight away. And I had a fantastic teacher, first one, Hilary Moon, I'll never forget her, and uh, really got into it straight away. And uh, after quite a lot of hard work, I, um, I actually got fairly good. So I thought I'd just carry on, I think. And it's what I thought, you know, I could actually make a living for this. So I uh, carried on from there. And uh, fell into the teaching by accident again because uh, I wasn't sure whether it was for me, but I actually really enjoy it now. I teach all sorts of ages, from three to over 60, was the oldest person I've taught. And that's really rewarding, because you actually feel like uh, you're putting something back. Well, I was very lucky to play the Albert Hall twice, believe it or right. not. Um, I was accompanying um, a singer, a guy called Oliver Darley, who's very good. And we, uh, we played that venue, and we supported a guy called Ray Charles, I'm sure you've heard of him. And that was really good fun. I mean, it's amazing just to literally be at the piano and just one other guy, the, the singer on the stage and just the full audience and the feeling of, you know, wow, I really, I feel like I've made it, you know, and that was really exciting. Um, played with some great jazz players. Well, as far as going into different types of music, I mean, I think as if you I started classically, but um, I soon realised that there was, I wasn't going to possibly make it as a classical pianist because you have to really put in over eight hours a day and it's not really my character but um, I found it was uh, more suited for me to play more kind of jazz and teaching because it suited my uh, way of life really and I, I don't think it's as hard to make uh, a living in it as people think so um, and I, I did go to music college but I didn't do the you know the whole degree thing and I kind of actually did a lot of my stuff as self-taught so I found that quite rewarding as well not having to kind of listen to too many people telling me what to do which is good and um, I suppose the low points first because there aren't that many are if you work gigging you've got late nights you're often you know coming home in the middle of the night not earning a great deal of money but the good side of that is you're having great fun playing music, people hopefully are enjoying it. Um, teaching highs and lows, you can get students <laughs> that can be um, not really putting the effort in and you know, they feel like, why are you bothering? And, but mainly when you can see the, the high points and when you can see the, the, you know, the fact that they've really improved and that, that makes you feel good. And I put a lot of my kids through exams and so on, and they've all done so well. I'm, I'm chuffed, really, so it's great.